are ready for takeoff. second Gaming Boulevard TV show. This show is all about the Wii U. Indeed the Wii U. Nintendo had a Nintendo Direct show just a few days ago and they announced a lot of cool stuff about their new system. They did. Some amazing and unexpected launch titles. And some other unexpected games as well. I'm gonna talk about that later on. Indeed. So what did they announce about the Wii U itself that we didn't know yet? Okay, the Wii U itself, the first release date, yep. is releasing November 18th in America. Indeed. Um, in Europe, it's November the 30th. Yep, indeed. And Japan will get it last December 8th. December 8th, indeed. And the Wii U will come in two different packages. Yeah. First of all, you have the basic set. It's a white Wii U system, white gamepad, white uh, gamepad stylus, some one a HDMI cable as well, an AC adapter for Wii U and an AC adapter for the gamepad. The white version has 8 gig internal memory. Not that much, Not so that it's more much. for housewives and casual gamers. Yeah, housewife, kids, casual gamers. But then for the more hardcore gamer, Nintendo announced the Wii Premium set. The Premium set is black. It's awesome. around 350. You have a black Wii U system, black gamepad, black Wii U gamepad stylus, some amazing stands like a Wii U gamepad stand, a charging stand for the gamepad itself, and a stand so you can lift your, bo your Wii U's body upright, so okay. like a regular Wii. One HDMI cable, one AC adapter for the Wii U, AC adapter for the Wii U gamepad as well. And Nintendo Land is included as well. Okay, so Nintendo Land isn't just that shallow Wii Sports from the Wii. No, not at all. Wii Sports was more like a tech demo. Yeah. Nintendo Land is actually a collection of Nintendo's best games. So you have Pikmin in there, you have Luigi's Mansion in there, Animal Crossing, F-Zero, and a lot more Zelda is in there as well, of course. And you have a lot of gameplay. So you yeah. have games you can play on your own, games you can play with your friends, like Battle Quest. Yeah, indeed. And they look amazing. They actually. really look amazing. It's one of the best looking Wii U games out there. Yeah, indeed. And... It's like a real retail game, you just get it with the premium package. Yeah, only with the premium yeah. package. So if you buy the basic package, you have to buy Nintendo Land in stores. Also, Japan won't get a Nintendo Land inside their premium edition. Ah, oh, too bad. But they didn't get Wii Sports. I with their Wii. Okay. So. Another thing you get on the premium package is a one year Nintendo Network premium subscription yeah basically it's something like PSN Plus on PlayStation yeah so what it does it gives you some of the money you spend on online downloadable games back so you buy a game you can get up to 10% of the total price back that's pretty neat it's a great service yes indeed so if you plan to download a lot of games it's better to buy the premium set of the Wii U why because the premium set has 32 gig of internal memory. Compared to the 8 gig of the basic set, it's a lot more. Yeah, indeed. But tell me, I mean, I have a PS3, I have an Xbox 360 with a lot of more gigabytes than yes. 32 gigabytes on the Wii U. Yeah, 32 isn't that much actually. Yeah. Why Nintendo did this? Because if they upscaled the internal memory, the price would go up. From yeah. the Wii U system. Okay, as well. but do I have to buy an external Nintendo hard drive or? No, Nintendo won't produce um, its own hard drive. You can connect each hard drive out there. So the one tera hard drive you can buy for around 
for $100 you can connect to the Wii U as well. Okay, that's another pretty neat feature, I guess. It is pretty neat. It's very customer friendly as well. All right. So if I want to buy the Wii U at launch, yes, which I'll probably will. Yes, I pre-ordered it. I'm a lucky guy. Um, what can I play on day one? On day one, you can play Call of Duty Black Ops 2, FIFA 13, Mass Effect Special Edition, New Super Mario Bros. U, Nintendo Land, of course, Rayman Legends, Zombie U, Trine 2, downloadable, Toki Tori 2, downloadable as well, Nano Assault Neo, downloadable as well, and Darksiders 2 on day one. Wow, that's a great lineup for day one as launch titles, and there are already some good downloadable games in the eShop as well. Dokitori, which is kind of hype on the internet right now, and Trine 2, which looks amazing as well for a downloadable game. It really does. Yep. And it's the first time since Nintendo 64 that a Nintendo console is releasing with Mario. Mario Bros. U? Yep, Wii U. It's not about it's not about motion controls this time. It's all about you. You can play with your own Mii character, and it's looking rather amazing actually. It's a nice game. I'm gonna buy that day one. So you mean that I can play with my own Mii? Yeah, you can. Awesome. That's so super cool. It's super awesome. You also have Zombie U. It's I think the biggest third party game out there. Yeah, Ubisoft. Ubisoft created. It's about zombies, really hardcore mature Wii U game. And it's looking really, really good in AG graphics. Okay. So um apart from day one, what's coming to Wii U in their so called uh, launch window? In the launch window you have a lot of games like Alien, Assassin's Creed, Batman, Ben 10, Disney's Epic Mickey 2, um, Game and Wario, Just Dance 4, Lego City, Monster Hunter, Rabbit's Land, Ninja Gaiden, Sports, Tank Tank Tank, Tekken Tech Tournament 2 and actually a lot more. Uh, the biggest games I already said one big game missing is Pikmin 3. But yeah, but they can take their time. I mean, they can Pikmin take their time. is a good game. Yeah. We want it to be good. And we have a kind of a Pikmin game in Nintendo Land. Yeah, you so. have. And you have Mario at launch and Nintendo Land at launch. Later on, Nintendo will release Game and Wario, which is like WarioWare. So, yeah. mini games. To really show off what the gamepad is capable of, so that's and it's really great nice. at parties as well. Really great at parties. So Pikmin 3 won't be releasing before March 2013, but we don't think that's a big problem. You have plenty of other games to play until Pikmin releases. Um, there was one big surprise game during Nintendo Direct show, and that was. Bayonetta 2 exclusively for Wii U. Bayonetta 2 exclusively made for Wii U. It is made by Platinum Games. They're making Wonderful 101 as well, which is looking very promising as yeah. well. But Bayonetta 2 had a lot of response on the internet. Not everyone is pleased with this decision. Haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate. Why is everybody so pissed actually? Well, I guess it's. Uh especially from the Sony side and maybe 360 as well yeah. I don't know really but it's it's coming exclusively to Wii U uh, the project um, normally there wouldn't be a Bayonetta 2 no there wouldn't be so Sega decided not to do it but then Nintendo came uh, showed the capabilities of the Wii U system and uh, yeah they picked that idea up and I, I guess it's a good move from Nintendo and it's also a good move for all the fans, so you shouldn't hate, you should just be glad there's a second True. Bayonetta game. So basically without Nintendo, Bayonetta 2 would never happen. That's it. Okay, so that's actually a great exclusive. I think it could be a system seller. It could be. It yeah. could be. Time will tell. Time will tell. Other games later in the future aren't announced yet, but we could expect of course a Metroid. A Zelda game and yeah. some other major Nintendo franchises as well. First party games, other third party games will come as well. 
So we have a great system, we have a great lineup, um, the launch window. Um, what do we not know about the Wii U? What doesn't Nintendo want us to see actually the at this point? The only thing we still don't know, and that's a bit of a mystery, is if there will be support for an optical cable. Yeah, they don't want people to take pictures of the Wii U system's backside. And that's so, pretty strange, actually. Uh, maybe it's pointing that they want to add something, like an optical cable, maybe even something else, I don't know. It's Perhaps. It would be awesome. So, Nintendo, if you are hearing this, please support optical cable on Wii U. Surround Systems will thank you. And we would as well. Indeed. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Our next show will be, like we said in our first show, it will be around Mario. We didn't do Mario now because we thought Wii U is bigger news, it's more important to give you all the details. But the next one will be all about Mario. Wahoo! We hope to see you again soon. <laughs>